Hello and welcome to Zip News. Doctors have been forced to move hundreds of patients into the streets as the fallout from the devastating Himalayan earthquake continues. The death toll continues to rise significantly with more than 2,400 confirmed fatalities, though that number is expected to climb. The powerful quake measured 7.9 on the Richter scale and was the most dangerous since the catastrophic 1934 earthquake, but it was its shallow hypocenter that was the main reason for its devastation. 18 bodies were recovered at the base camp at Mount Everest following a deadly avalanche triggered by the earthquake, making it the most lethal day in the mountain's history. A powerful 6.7 aftershock triggered additional slides in the Himalayas over the weekend. Aid supplies have poured in from around the world, including neighbouring India, where some 66 people were reportedly killed in the disaster. Barack Obama has poked fun at political friends and foes at the annual White House dinner. The president had plenty to say on a number of issues, including climate change, Obamacare, and his many feuds with the Republican Party. Now, after the midterm elections, my advisors asked me, Mr. President, do you have a bucket list? And I said, well, I have something that rhymes with bucket list. <laughs> Tea Party face and potential Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz was singled out for particular ridicule, including criticism of his scientific views and large donations. Protecting our democracy is more important than ever. For example, the Supreme Court ruled that the donor who gave Ted Cruz $6 million was just exercising free speech. Yeah, it's the kind of speech like this. I just wasted $6 million. <laughs> Poor journalism was also in the firing line. President poking fun at CNN's Ebola coverage and pleading with Fox News to stop terrifying old white people with nonsense before pausing to remember murdered journalists Stephen Sotloff and James Foley. Arguably the highlight of his address was the inclusion of Luther, the president's anger translator. The non-stop focus on billionaire donors creates real problems for our democracy. And that's why we're running for a third term! No, no, no we're not. We're not? No. Who the hell said that? As President Obama delivered measured points, Luther would translate them into how the Commander-in-Chief was really feeling, before the President himself got angry while talking about indifference towards climate change from sections of the political elite. I, I think I got it, bro. I, it is crazy. <laughs> what about our kids? What kind of stupid, short-sighted, irresponsible bull? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Hey! What? what? Okay, no, hey! The dinner is an annual event held to acknowledge the White House press corps and has come under increasing criticism for apparent coziness between the press and the administration. I'm Jack Fuller. Thanks for watching.